Howdy, I am at TBRM Sports Camp this week. This is where I work during the summer. Uh, it is a Christian sports camp for kids. They've got two locations and a traveling location. Oh man, it is. just got really hot and sunny. Hi. Okay, so I know a lot of you are wondering what the deal is with the Skittle. If you're not friends with me on Snapchat, then you don't really know. Um, but basically, I got a Skittle stuck in my nose. I'll talk more about it later in the video, but here's Here's the part where I went to the doctor for them to try to get it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. is it, it is purple. Is yes. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although the color's starting to wear off. Mm -hmm. I would imagine. It's been there for about a day. <laughs> oh, a day? Well, really? We tried to get it out on our own before we came here. Do you know that you could aspirate that? I could what? Aspirate it. I don't know what that means. Well, it means uh, breathe it into your lungs. Oh, that would be terrible. So basically, they couldn't get the skin out of my nose, and it's, I mean, it's not still there because it's been like a week, but it dissolved, uh, probably, I don't know, I don't know how skittles work like that, but it jacked up my entire sinus system, and I'm still recovering from that, and it's terrible. Moral of the story, don't eat skittles while you're laughing, because you might choke and they might get stuck in your nose. Alright, back to camp. I don't have any footage, so I'm just filming everything now. Also, I'm trying not to work, so. Mm. You'll have to choose. He's at 250 52nd Street, and she's uh, on Avenue X. That's just a look. So, if you've ever seen The Dark Knight, also, that, that's my favorite movie. If you've ever seen The Dark Knight, then you remember the scene where Batman has to pick which of the two people he's going to save. Is it Rachel or is it Harvey? And uh, the Joker tells him their two locations and says you can only save one, which is pretty much right about. So he says that he's gone for Rachel. Well, little does he know, the Joker switched up the, uh, the locations, and he goes and he saves Harvey. Well, because Batman picked Rachel over Harvey, the Joker switched up the locations. Batman had to suffer the consequences of Rachel dying. And, I mean, that was his best friend, that's who he, who he was in love with, and that's just a silly example. That's probably not going to happen to you in your life. If it did, if it does, I'm, I'm really sorry, that kind of stinks. But, yeah. So today I'm talking about consequences, and every every action that you do has a consequence. And it says in Galatians 6 verse 7, Do not be deceived, God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit, from the spirit will reap eternal life. So no matter what we do, okay, everybody knows that our sins are forgiven. You can watch some of my previous videos, God's forgiven us for everything that we've done. And just because we're forgiven doesn't mean that the consequences go away. We still have to, you know, face the music. So, an example, um, earlier this week, I was eating Skittles, okay? And I was eating these Skittles and somebody made me laugh, and so I started choking. And I bent over to put the Skittles away, and I coughed, and the Skittle went up into my nose. So I've had a Skittle lodged in my nose for three days now, and 
I went to the doctor, they couldn't get it out, nobody can get it out. So, the consequences for me eating Skittles while at camp, which you're technically not supposed to do, is that there's a skill stuck in my nose, and now I have a sinus infection, so I sound stupid. So that's just, uh, it's a really silly example, but it's also a really good example of, you do something, you're gonna, there's gonna be a consequence. It could be good or bad, in this case it was bad. So bottom line, everything that you do has consequences, and it, you want to live, you, you want to live according to the spirit, so that you'll reap eternal life from the spirit. Because if you live, if you live to please the flesh, your consequences are only going to be destruction. And that's no fun. Thanks for watching my vlog this week. If you liked it, click the like button. It looks like a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, you can click the subscribe button below and put it right here. Any comments, feedback, suggestion, everything's welcome in the comment section. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Howdy. What's your name? I'm Dusty. That's cool.